hey guys what's up and welcome to this new video so this is a tutorial video and in this video i will be going to show how to make something like this so this is actually a new intro video i made for my channel and in this video i will be showing the tutorial for that okay so i have made it in 3ds max and the main thing about it is i have just used one map and there is no bump map in it so here we go first I just created a plan then apply a material to it from there select the ray tracer material that one so that we can then use the reflection also okay now in the diffuse map you can find a texture for road like online so select that and apply it on the plan there it is make sure to note its resolution you can see that is its resolution okay so set the width and length of the plan to that resolution just scale it down a little so that it is nice in the viewport okay so what's next step now I will apply a bump map to it okay so I will click on the bump map and I will select the color correction and in this there is another map I will click that and then select the same texture okay here it is it's the same texture that I have applied as the, as the diffuse map I will monochrome that which means that it becomes a black and white image as the bump map works on a black and white image okay now I'm just inserting a light in the scene to make the bump map visible turn the shadows on okay that's it and now we can render it and there you can see the bump effect the surface is looking like it is out of the plan but in real it is not it is just a plan there you can see when I turn off the bump map this peculiarity is normal okay what the bump map does is it actually displaces the normals of the of the plan and it does not affect the geometry of the plan so you will not see when you look to it from one side so I will just turn that off for the moment there you can see now I will come to this peculiar map copy that map and paste that on the specular level there it is so now what happens that the white areas of the map will have higher level of specularity and the darker areas will have lower levels here you can see when I turn that off specularity becomes normal and when I turn it on the specularity is different now so now we have to do one another thing we also have to invert this image because we need that the darker spaces are required to be brighter and have more specularity and the whiter spaces should have less specularity so for that we will have to invert it right now I'm just setting its contrast and other settings now I will click on the color correction and 
apply another color correction and keep the old map as its map there it is and in here I will invert it there you can see it is inverted this is the most important step in this now you can just work on this also to make it correct okay so that's it now let's render it and there you can see the darker spots are the stones that are that have less peculiarity while the brighter spots are the are the corners of the stones that are more brighter let's turn on the bump map and now it looks more really nice let's change the value of the bump map and we are getting some good results there you can see but we will not use the bump map and I will copy the specular level map and paste it on the glossiness map so there you can see the glossiness map actually will change the specular thinning of the specular light it will actually change the thinning or the wideness of the specular light the darker areas will be more wider while the white areas will be thinner so there you can see the stone tops has the has the wider specularity From the light settings I will turn off the diffuse map so you can just see the specular map and the specular map has created an illusion that the surface is a bumpy there you can see the deeper areas have higher specularity but they are thinner the specularity is thin while the the top places have the specularity level lower but it is wider now let's turn on the bump map and there you can see some very good results the corners of the stones are looking like a rain effect Let's turn on the diffuse map also and it will look more cool. There it is. Let's change the light color. Okay, so that's you can play around with it. Now change the light color back to white and I will create the displacement map so for that come down to the modifiers and select the displace modifier okay and in this you will have to increase the polygon the segments the, the more the segments the better the displacement map will be now open that material and copy the bump map and paste instance of that at here so whatever changes at the material will happen at here also okay so now increase the strength and you will see that the that the actual geometry of the plan is displaced and the actual stones are formed on top of the plan so that's the beauty of the displacement map we have actually created 
the stones geometry just from the map of the stones by changing that strength value you will get different heights of the displacement now you can render it and you can see that it is pretty nice there, there you can see in the corners it is looking like there is water and the top of the stones are drier so this is looking pretty cool ok now i will create the reflection so i will just insert a sphere in the scene so that it is reflected on the surface ok now open the material editor and in it there is another map that is the reflect so the reflect map also work similarly as the glossiness and the specular level map the whiter spaces will have higher reflection value while the black will have lower reflection value so you can copy and paste it onto that that's it and it's already and it's already done you can render it and here is the result it's pretty awesome you can see the reflection on the road where there is water and not there where are stones now I'm just changing the diffuse map I have just applied some texture on top of that map you can also do that and you will have to change the diffuse map of the material I have also inserted some lights in the scene just to make it colorful that's it I have set my channel name at there and render it and that's the result so I hope you have enjoyed that guys and you have learned from it so thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe Spectre man.